I'm Dr. Angela McBrarty of drflute.com, and today's flute tip is on expanding your thin low register. Sometimes when you have come to a, a certain level of playing, you realize that your low register is not this big, fat, beautiful, wonderful sound that you hear from other uh, flute flutists. And you want to know why. Well, there's a couple reasons why that could be happening. Um, the first thing that I see with students with have a really thin, would be a thin low register, generally is that this is too tight. All right, this is very tight. And when you have a tight low register, your airstream has to go out. Um, I don't, I have well, in my experience, I haven't seen anyone with a really tight embouchure that their airstream goes down. When you play in the low register, your airstream needs to be at a downward trajectory. Now that doesn't mean straight down. I'm not blowing straight down into this mouthpiece here but I need it to go downward. So this uh, strike edge is now splitting my airstream in a downward angle, okay? So the first thing to do when you want to expand your thin low register is to open up. Now, opening up really gets rid of that tight, thin, small embouchure. And you can do it by lowering your teeth. So have a tight embouchure. You have to have your corners in and tight, okay? Okay, I could barely get any sound out there. It was so tight, but that is what I see. It's tight in here, okay? Now, sometimes I see people play and their sound isn't bad. It's just small very small and thin. It has no bottom to it, which, okay, technically means you don't have many partials in your tone. When you hear someone with that really phenomenal, say Denis Buryakov, uh, really phenomenal sound or Emmanuel Peud, and you hear them play, they have amazing partials in their sound. And that's what gives them this lively, wonderful, thick, beautiful, resonant tone. Um, but when this is too tiny, you've closed off all those partials. So let's talk about how to get more partials in and what can you do. The first thing is to lower your teeth, okay? Now in the low register, from C to low C, middle C, uh, what the uh, third space C, there we go, third space C down to low C, which is middle C on the piano, but we call it low C on the flute, okay? Your jaw is down about a finger's width, like that, all right? The upper lip comes over the bottom and you see the airstream is down, okay? So this is splitting my sound and because my upper lip is over the bottom and my teeth are down into an awe, that gives me a uh, downward angle of my air and that's going to expand. That's first going to get my tone bigger because if you have a thin sound, it's a small sound and you want to expand it. So first thing is expand your embouchure. More inside of your mouth is nice and open and big. Out here, it's nice and big. Oh, teeth are far apart and I can aim the air down, okay? Now, I have some exercises on the these flute tip videos here talking about the C chromatic tonguing exercise that does this. Okay, I have that exercise. Uh, I would do it really slowly with students, but that's the exercise I just wanted to show you. Really slowly so that you can lower your jaw, keep it open, and work tonguing down. Okay, now, so to that's your first point of getting a better, bigger sound 
that's rich and resonant and that's just opening here expand your embouchure two is one that i've talked about a lot and that is support when you start opening up one of the things that people don't like and i've had students complain about this is that their tone gets worse and in a way it does when you have a very tight embouchure here and only a tiny little bit of air comes out your tone is going to be more pure because there's only a little bit of sound that gets out all the air is cut off because it's so tight when you open up everything here the embouchure hole gets bigger more air comes tumbling out and you have an airier sound but you're knowing you know that you're doing things right if your tone sounds bigger if it's airier I I'm fine with that because I can work with that. I can't work with a tight embouchure. There's nothing that can be done when it's tight like that. Now, so support is next, and I'm not going to talk all about support and how you breathe properly and all that, but I have videos on that. You can look that up, but that's what helps you learn how to hold in your air and not let it come out when you are opening your embouchure. So if I'm opening the embouchure, all right, sometimes that's what happens, but it sounds bigger. When I learn how to control that air and I breathe from my stomach and rib cage and I tighten those muscles so I control the air, I can take the air out of my tongue. And your tone stays big and gets more pure. Okay. Another thing to work on when you're trying to expand that thin sound are your long tones. And um, for long tones, you know, you could just start on C, work your low register. It's keeping the embouchure big and it's learning the angle of which to blow across the strike edge. Um, so I used to be of the mindset that, hey, wherever I got it here, this is good. Um, I'm not going to mess with that until one day, uh, probably through something some teacher said, I, because I don't remember anyone talking specifically about the angle of which you blow, but I started experimenting and realized I could change my tone by experimenting on how, what angle to blow. So angle meaning I could be here. <laughs> Now, I don't want to be playing, you know, when I'm performing like that, but I want to keep in tune. But still play with the edgier sound. So I'm going to take my upper lip and that's going to help me aim it down. So my head doesn't go down and I get flat. Now it gives me that edgier, edgier sound. And sometimes that edgier sound is that fuller, richer sound that you're looking for. So experiment with the angle on your uh, strike edge here, on how you're blowing your air across it. And then something else is learning to make your tone lively. If I just play, okay, that's all right. But if I make my tone lively, meaning I put some spin in the note okay and spin means a really fast vibration basically then i'm going to get that resonant tone that the professionals have so when i play this piece uh there's some low stuff here this is toen yan it's the third movement of pharaoh's th three pieces uh, that you can download at my website, drflute.com slash downloads. There's low register here. I want to put that edgier sound, lively, rich, and edgy. Run out, of, run out of air there at the end. Um, but could you hear that edge? I made it rich and full. Now 
Now, if I close up at all, it's not going to be the same. I open up and now my tone can come out and it's rich and it's full. So don't live with a thin sound. You don't have to. You can experiment. You can work on your low register. You can hold in more air. You can open your embouchure. You can make your tone lively and work on you know dynamics in that register that really helps but do it through long tones do it through short tone exercises both the extremes give you that sound you can do it and why not that's today's flute tip if you like today's flute tip press the like button subscribe comment below and share it with your friends